Hi there, grade 10, 11s and 12s. Welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at writing our own algorithms. You need to write algorithms for your pet, but you will always also be asked in question 5 of your theory exams to write algorithms. The first thing you want to do is imagine your code. For your pet, you could even write some of the code, maybe in a procedure, even though it is phase 1. You could write the code and copy and paste it and then make the changes as I show you now. In a theory exam, then you would have to imagine the code and make the following changes. So this code here is storing input for a name and a score and it is using a global variable I count to determine who's the highest score. So you have the code here, we've done it in grade 10. The first thing you need to do is you need to replace the semicolons. So, or actually delete them. So remove every semicolon. You will not write semicolons inside of a, an algorithm. Then the next thing is everywhere where you have an assignment statement, replace that with an arrow showing from right to left because the right side gives a value to the left. So it would look like this now. Then what you want to do is for any input objects and typecasting, you are going typecasting a string to end, string to float and those guys, you want to replace your input with just input from the user, like that. So we don't mention objects in here and we do not use typecasting. Then do the same for your output. So instead of having your object here, richeta.lines.add, and your variables and your typecasting, you are going to replace it to just say display is high and I score. The next step is to remove any prefixes. So when you're writing an algorithm, don't use the prefixes to indicate a data type. All of them has to be removed. You just use words. Now what you want to do is, in your if statements, you want to remove the then. So like that. And then finally, you want to remove any begins and ends. So we're not going to use begins and ends. We're going to move, remove them, but you still have to indent. So the indentation indicates that all of this needs to be done inside of the if. There used to be a begin and an end here and there, but since it's indented, it indicates that it is under the if. And this is now the end of your algorithm. This is what it should look like. I'll show you guys another example now. This comes from a past metric paper where you were asked to write an algorithm. The user enters numbers, so here we have 5, 4, 3, and then those number of stars had to be displayed. So the first line is the 5, the next one is the 4, and the next one is the 3. They just gave you two examples there. There's 2, 5, 1, so 2, 5, and 1 star. This is how I would have coded it. So I first did the code for you. There I have my string input box, and then I would loop through my string, Every line, I'm going to build a line of stars and display it. I have stored I stars as the current digit. So let's say they entered in 5, 3, 2. The first digit when K is 1, that would be 5. So 5 is stored in I stars. I then loop from 1 to 5 and add 5 stars and then display it. So if you follow my previous explanation, we need to remove the semicolons, replace that with an arrow, take out your prefixes, just say input from the user and display. Your code should now look like this. This is now how you will deal with a loop and string handling, which is very, very similar to what you would do, do if you have to write an algorithm for arrays. So you want to change the loop headings. Instead of saying 4k is assigned to 1 to length, you are going to say loop k from value to value. And we want to delete the do. So this is what it should look like. We have two loops there. We say loop k from 1 to the length of digits. 
inside here we have loop j from 1 to stars, stars being that integer previously. Then what you want to do is you want to delete the begin, but for loops, they want you to keep the end, and you'll just say end loop. So you're going to delete that, but you're going to keep that and add to that end loop, and very important, keep your indentation. So this is what it should look like. This is the end of this loop. All of that is on the inside of that loop, indented, and there I indicate that the loop stops here. This here would be my string handling with square brackets K, but you'll do that relates to that one there. But this would look very similar for arrays. In theory exams, they will mark the code if you wrote code instead of an algorithm. However, they then mark your syntax error. So let's say you forgot a semicolon at the end of a line, or you wrote string to int instead of int to string then you lose that mark. So it is actually easier to write algorithms because you do not have to worry about syntax errors. It is really important that you practice algorithms. You can't just watch videos. They're very similar to practicing for maths or our practical. And I have lots of activities in my Dandelion Delphi DIMS workbook. It stands for Data and Information Management System, which is part of question four and five of theory. The memos are in the back of the book, which should help you. This book would be appropriate for any grade from 10 to 12. Certain sections are only for grade 12s, but you can keep the book for three years as it would all be relevant to a theory final examination in grade 12. Thank you for watching and please remember to leave some comments. Hope to see you soon.